We're finally here with my backaroo and nail bout review. After breaking two nail bouts and spending five years coming home every day complaining to my girlfriend about sore hips, I decided it was time to upgrade to a backaroo and get the suspenders. Backaroo is an Australian company that specializes in nail bouts. They make their pouches out of leather and that comes with a hefty price tag. Best thing about backaroo though is each pouch and holder for your nail belt is all sold separately. So you go up there and you can choose what you want your nail belt to look like. They all slide on very easily around this main waistband here and you can customize it perfectly. So if we're looking at Backaroo's website, we can see there's options from three pouches, hammer holsters, tape holders, phone holders, and the list just keeps going on. I've worked with quite a few carpenters that wear Backaroo nail belts and they're the reason I went and bought one. And every single one of the nail belts had a different setup to cater for their preferences. Although this is good and exciting, you can choose how your nail belt is set up. But sometimes I like the idea of someone designing an optimal nail belt for whatever job you're doing and you can buy that and it's gonna have all the bells and whistles that you need. I'm gonna start talking you through my setup, what pouches I've bought, which ones I regret buying and what other pouches I would like to buy to add to it. And I'll show you how everything clips on and slides on together while we're going through it. For starters, I started with a size 34 padded belt. I am a size 34 and I thought that'd be perfect. The only downfall for that though is a size 34 fits me perfectly. Even right now wearing a hoodie, but if it's a cold winter's morning and I've got a hoodie, jacket, and maybe even a vest on, I am struggling to get that belt shut. So I would recommend going a couple sizes bigger than what your waist is, so you've got extra room when you're wearing layers. Now I did say before I've had glute problems and hip problems from wearing a tight nail belt the entire time. So I've got an extra padded belt that sits around my waist comfortably. Obviously in conjunction to that, I bought the suspenders. The suspenders were one of the must-have things I needed for this nail belt. They do carry a lot of the weight. It took a bit of playing around to get that perfect balance of having half the weight on my shoulders and half the weight on my waist. Obviously, depending on what tools I put in, how many nails I've got on my nail belt, it's, kind of sh it's gonna change the weight, where it sits on me and how the weight's held. And obviously with the suspenders, I've used them to hold some tools as well. I've got my drill bit holder attached here. So if we take everything apart and look at all the different compartments, you'll firstly see that the belt that we wear is basically two belts in one. The first belt, is the belt that we attach to our body, tie around our body, and secure to ourselves. The second belt is we undo this and we slip all our pouches in around this belt, and this is how easy it is to reconfigurate how you want your nail belt set up. You tie that belt off, all your pouches are in place, and then you tie it onto your body. We'll also see the attachments that come on our nail belt for our suspenders to tie through as well, being strong metal grips that will support all the weight. Now in terms of the pouches I have and the way I've configured it, I start with my phone holder here. At this point in time, I feel like I'm getting my phone out to answer calls and look at plans a lot. So I like having that at the front that I can easily access. Next to my phone, I've got my hammer and chisel holder. I've seen a lot of people have them behind them around the back. I prefer it on the side, that way when I walk, it doesn't brush up and hit against my leg. And also I find it easy just to be able to pull it out with such a quick motion. Around the back here, I've got my safe self, my tape holder. It's kind of a bit too tight for my liking. It's just an eight meter tape, so it should be a nice small tape. I can place it in easily, but sometimes it is a two hand job to really pull that out. And on my left side, this is where most of my tools and hardware goes. I got my larger pouch closer to my body. And that at the moment is holding a shifter, my speed square tin snips. I've got another pouch in between them. And right now I've got this filled with nails. As we can see, I'm kind of missing somewhere to load up with a lot of hardware. That is something I would change, but honestly, I haven't had many problems with it. This small setup here has served everything I need. Make our way down, we see I've got my Stanley knife and a couple slots here for a pencil and a nail punch. If you look at where the nail pouch is though, we can see this leather has ripped off. And this is the first bit of damage that has happened on my nail belt, which happened within two months of purchase, which I was a little bit disappointed about. And another problem with all my nails in this pouch here is I was doing a deck of when I first purchased this nail belt and putting my hand in there and digging down through the layers of leather to get the screws out, I started actually cutting my hand from just rubbing it against the leather going in and out all day. Here's a gauge on how much my nail belt setup costs and it comes to a total of $556. One thing I do want to point out is my tape holder pouch is actually this hold all bag. Uh, it's all I could buy at Sydney Tools when I went and bought my back rub out. This actually isn't designed as a tape measure holder. So my comments on it being a bit tight to pull the tape out is very valid as it is not designed for that. So this is how I have it sitting now. But when I first bought it, the configuration of all my pouches was completely different. 
Now that's the best thing about it. I can keep changing my pouches around and make it how I like it. That's also the worst thing about it. I wore my nail belt completely different to my old nail belt that I had. So I was not used to where anything was and naturally hated it. I said I went through two nail belts. They're a cheap $100 nail belt from Bunnings. They did serve me well for the two years I've had each of them, but they were identical, meaning all my tools are in the same places. And for four years straight, I was putting my hammer away without even looking, just throwing it down and knowing where it would land. So I started with a different configuration. I had my hammer more towards the back of my nail belt. I think everything else was mostly similar. And the problem is I'm not used to the nail belt, so I'm not gonna like it regardless. And I obviously wasn't fond with how the nail belt was sitting, so I kept changing it to get it right. The problem there is I'm switching from an old nail belt I'm used to it to a new nail belt. So no matter what I did, I didn't actually like the feel of it. I had to come up with this current setup and wear it for a good week or two to really get content with where everything sits and get used to the new nail belt before I started liking it. That is where I'd like a pre-designed nail belt where everything's laid out in the best places. And in saying that, I'm sure you can search online and see a lot of people that wear Vakaroo, how they set it up. And obviously the most popular designs are probably gonna be the best designs there. So if I could rearrange my nail belt, I'd probably get another one of these double pouches, have it balanced on the other side of my nail belt. I'll keep my phone holder to the front and sadly we need to have my hammer towards the back. I'd also get rid of this pouch I purchased for my tape and instead I'd get this little bar which I can clip my tape onto which would be a lot easier to pull in and out. Obviously though, I can imagine already how many times I'm going to knock that climbing through trusses and it may fall to the ground. So overall, I am happy with this nail belt. It does serve me well, it does look after my body a lot more, but for the price I paid for it and the amount of flaws that I mentioned in this video, I don't think it would be a nail belt I'd ever replace if there was a problem to it.